Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Eugene, and I would like to tell you how to operate our HPI 3D laser interferometer. Keep in mind that everything you are doing with heavy machine tools, you are doing at your own risk. Just take care. In this video, we make uh, special chapters and you can jump right into the uh, topic you are interested in. So, let's jump right in and uh, see how it works. First of all, adjust your machine in the way it is comfortable for you to install the equipment. Keep in mind though that uh, the axle you are measuring should be in one of its end positions. You can adjust the machine in manual mode. Take the laser head from the case. The laser head is equipped with magnetic mounting bracket. Install the laser head on your machine. You can install it on the machine table or directly to the axle you are measuring. Keep in mind that installment should be steady, not to a flexible part of your machine. Take all the cables from the case. The USB cable. The power plug cable and the power brick. Connect the device with your power cable. Push the red button until it flashes green. Check if you can see the laser beam. Then connect USB cable if you want to connect by wire. Launch the HPI software and select the connection method. I will use USB for this purpose, but you can also choose Bluetooth. Wide connection is more stable and has wider bandwidth, but Bluetooth is more comfortable. Take the reflector prism from the case and take the mounting bracket. There are two types of mounting brackets, one with steel rod and uh, the other with 3D head. If you use rod, take the rod mount also. In some situations, the metal rod can be easier to adjust. Move the aperture on the laser meter and on the prism itself. Install it in the way that the laser beam goes to one aperture ring and goes out from the other. Lock it in place with the magnet bracket. You can see how the aperture looks close up. This is the correct installation position. Open both apertures on the device and the prism. Open display in software and enlarge the alignment to the full screen. Adjust the position in manual mode with your machine controller. It should be as close to zero as possible. Then move your axle in manual mode to the other end of the axle length. Looking at the screen, adjust the beam position to be as close to zero as possible with the adjustment knob in the backside of the body of the laser emitter. The cables are removed for the purpose of demonstration. Here you can see how it looks on the computer screen. The beam goes to the right, but then you adjust it with the knobs and it returns back to zero. Move the axle down again in manual mode. Then adjust it with your machine controller to be zero once again. Use small increment manual adjustment to move the perpendicular axles to the measured one. Repeat the procedure until you have zero on both sides of the axle. 
take the moment in bracket from the case. In this case, I will use 3D mount in bracket. Take the interferometer from the case. And mount it roughly on your machine. The procedure is almost the same as with the reflector part. Here you can use aperture for alignment as well. In the screen you can see how the correct alignment looks like. Then fix it with the knob. It shouldn't be too tight though. And adjust it with your hand. The adjustment procedure you can see on the screen. Don't forget to open aperture. Take the atmosphere sensor. And the temperature sensor. One temperature sensor is enough for this small machine, but if you are measuring a larger one, you should consider to place them to get a good temperature gradient. Temperature sensors should be placed along the measured axle. Atmosphere sensor should be placed as close to the laser beam as possible. Open dynamic position 3D. Here you can generate the code for CNC. We support different machine controllers. Also, you can select the axle you are measuring and start and end point of this axle. In our case, I will use this axle, and 400 is the final point I'm going to use. Then press generate and you get the G code. You can save it anywhere you want and transfer it to your machine. Load the code to the machine and select the program you have just done. Start the program on your machine controller for the first time. Then press start in your software and press start program on your machine once again. The measurements will begin. Keep in mind that the velocity throughout the measurements should be stable. For good statistics, three measurements are required. But for fast analysis, you can make one or two. You can select how many measurements will be embedded in the G code while generating it. One measurement is done when the machine goes back and forth all the way along the measured axle. Here you can see how it looks from the machine side. The video is speed up a few times. After the measurement is done correctly, you will see the graph on the screen. It is the report we can provide. I will tell you more about this in our special software tutorial video. Now I am demonstrating the Unix 3D feature. It will provide information about two additional perpendicular axles. You can select different analytic methods here. Also, you can zoom in to any part of the graph. The report can be generated. We support different standards of the report. You can select one that suits you best. So you can just save the result in our file and open it in HPI software anytime you want and generate a new report. The report can be saved into PDF file. Also, you can generate calibration tables. Here you can add all the information about your machine. And here you can make the fine adjustments and save the calibration table to send it to your machine.
Keep in mind that the measurements should be done with uh, the calibration table zero out. Thank you for watching and subscribe to our channel. We are planning to make new tutorial videos on laser tech equipment.